Hello, hello, everybody. So sorry, we are late. Technical difficulties, technical difficulties. So um, we want to say hello to everybody. I am copying the invite so that I can send it to a couple of folks. You are watching. You are invited. You are a part of, that's my alarm going off, Kim's community. And I thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we are a community that just we're just coming together just to just to have a good time. We're going to have what we call a campfire chat. And I just need to invite a few people to come in and join us. But I wanted to jump on as soon as I was able to get on. Oh, my goodness. My laptop. I've got another one sitting over here. Oh, it finally started working. This laptop started updating. I mean, it started updating like on its own. Good evening, Eric. Thank you so much for coming and chiming in. Um, computer, I left it on, walked away and you know, it kind of idles and it'll shut down. And then it just started updating and it was like 33% and like, you know, don't turn it off and all that stuff. So I am so, so sorry, but I am sharing this link with a couple of folks. We are going to just have our little campfire talk. For those of you who are familiar with, um, you are in Kim's community and we are just here to just have a good time, have a lot of fun and to just kind of let our hair down and talk. Hello, hello. We ask that you guys would like and share, like and share and even subscribe depending on what uh, platform you're watching on. Would certainly appreciate if you did that. And if you have any comments, uh, updates or anything that you wanna share, please feel free to do that. Okay, I am sharing this link with some of my cohorts and co-host, so to speak, if that's what you want to call it. Man, for those of you who are just coming in, sorry that we are late today. Um, my computer started updating on its own. I thought you had to push a button in order for it to update, but whatever the case may be, I appreciate you guys being here. Let's see, open link, copy link, and let me throw it into the text message. And then we're going to have some folks join us. This little community is just about us just hanging out, just having a good time. There's pretty much no agenda. We talk about kind of whatever comes to mind. We've got some fun topics we're going to talk about tonight. Again, like and share, invite your friends in your community um, so that they can join us. And we appreciate you being here. Let us know who you are and where you're watching from. Go ahead and put that in the chat. We already got a good um, good evening and a hello from Eric. We thank you so much for saying hello and for joining us tonight. We appreciate that. Anybody else on, if you are watching and you want, I mean, I can see people that are on, but if you want to communicate with us, go ahead and put it in the chat because we see it immediately. And um, so how have you guys been doing? Um, today is Thursday. This is Friday Eve, as we like to call it. And um, a lot of you, I know we're getting ready for Friday or do you guys take off Fridays? That's a, ooh, yeah, that's a good one to take off Friday. So then you have that whole like three day weekend. Nothing wrong with that. Hello, Lynthia. How are you? Oh, I was trying to sit. Thank you for chiming in and saying hello. Certainly appreciate that. Love that so much. Great to hear from you. Okay. We've got one of our friends in. Can you hear me? I'm getting ready to bring you in. Let me give me a thumbs up and let me know if you're ready. One second. Okay. She's doing something anyway. So again, we apologize for being late because it was my computer that updated all on its own and started updating, I should say. And we um, invite you guys to like and share, like and share and want you to share it with your friends. So uh, folks can join us and join the conversation. If you've got something to say, we would absolutely love it and love to hear from you and appreciate <laughs> I know I did the same thing. You got to look and see what's behind you. I can see you kind of in the pre mode. What's happening down there? That's funny, though. When you get ready to go on camera, you got to make sure everything behind you is looking a OK. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm good. I was telling everybody my camera. I mean, my computer decided to update on its own. I had it kind of idling. You're going to say something. You can't hear me. OK. OK. Let me put my earbuds in. Thank you. You cannot hear me. How come y'all didn't tell me, Eric and Lynthia, that y'all couldn't hear me? <laughs> Let me see. OK. Now. 
I'm off on the You sound choppy. Sounding a little choppy. Oh, I don't know what else okay. to do. Keep going, keep going. Okay. I can really well. Oh, now I can hear you. You're fine. Okay. Hey, everybody. We've got folks chiming in. Okay, great. Thank you. So glad you can hear. We appreciate it so much. Please like and share with your friends and with your um, community. We would absolutely love it. Again, just want to welcome you guys to Kim's community. Um, we want to talk about uh, your guest is muted. The guest is muted. Okay, let me make sure. Can you talk, guest, so I can make sure we can hear you? Hello. Okay, we can hear you. Welcome. Right. Tell us who you are and, and what's happening in your world. Hi. And what are you drinking? That's what I want to know. Y'all put in the chat, what are you drinking? Your audio was better without the headset. Okay. You can take it out now because I, I can hear you. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry. This is like a three ring circus. I appreciate okay, there it. We go. Can y'all hear me okay now? I can hear you good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, we are going to get started. What are y'all drinking? That's what I, and I should have put that in the little flyer. It doesn't matter. You can drink whatever. I'm going to tell you what I'm drinking. Some hot tea. Oh I'm not hot tea. Hot water and lemon. Let me tell you what it does to the body. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> if you want to have a easier flow, um, and I know lemons, I'm looking up the, what lemons do to your body and the positiveness that it has on the body. Um, yeah, it does. It does some good work. So <laughs> Lithia is drinking green tea. With mint. I bet that is good. Green tea with mint. I know last week Trina was drinking some. Tea. I'm not drinking anything today. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. <laughs> so again, we want you guys to like and share and we appreciate it. Okay, we want to get started. Have you guys seen the red flag phenomenon? Have you seen that like all over social media? What is that about? Anything? Weigh in, Katrina. So. Or any of our guests. Eric is drinking tea and ginger. All right, Eric. I know ginger is really good. I got another thing. Let me, I'm sorry, cut you off. Ginger, ginger and cinnamon sticks. You boil ginger and cinnamon sticks and make it warm. And that is supposed to be good for your immune system. So good deal. All right. Red flags. What is that all about? Anybody? So I understand that the red flags, it's just for things that people say that are red flags. So like if you notice on people's social media when they have the red flags, read what it says first and then it's red flags that are saying that. If somebody says this, it's a red flag. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, they have, it's it's almost like viral. They have been just like chiming in and I was like, okay, am I missing something? What is happening here? <laughs> yes, and some of them are very, very funny, very funny. Okay, we'll have to um, look those up. Some red, have, do you remember any off of um, any Red flags. Do you remember any of those? Let me put, I'm trying to post the other pages. Sorry. If he drives his mama's car. You don't? Yes. One is like, if he drives his mama's car, then like, don't go on a date or something like that. That's a red <laughs> flag. Okay. Um, if he, what was it? If he. Let's ask our guests. I mean, our, our co-hosts. We're going to call you guys co-hosts around this campfire. What are some red flags when you're dating somebody, male or female? <laughs> red flags. You can just put up one. Red flags that you are saying, like, you need to run, and I mean run fast. What are some red flags? Anybody? Go ahead. So, <laughs> so I jumped on Twitter real quick, and one is, if she's in student debt, it's a red flag. Like, How is that a red flag? Is that a red flag? <laughs> that means she's trying to get it together. Exactly. At least she went to school. If, if she's in debt, at least she's got... Ambition, I guess. I don't know. Right. <laughs> red flags. What are some red flags? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, they do. They have a lot of them. Um, okay. Our folks are chiming in here. And I see our next. Oh, this is a good one. Can you pick me up from work? That's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? No scrubs? <laughs> right? That is run, run, run. And our next. Right. Hey, <laughs> our, our next co-host is in, chiming in. Welcome, welcome. We're going to take that down and make this a three 
panel uh -oh, okay. three thing. Y'all are going to see us these faces bouncing all over because I'm learning how to use all this new equipment. But red flags, our first question that is up, what are some red flags that you need to just tuck and run? And one of our viewers said, can you pick us up from, can you pick me up from work? That's a red flag. <laughs> That's um, Katrina mentioned one that if he's driving his mother's car, red flag. Um, he shows up in a jersey. Oh, yes, Eric, you are right. Red flag, especially <laughs> if they're supposed to be older. Show up in one of those throwback jerseys. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anybody else? What is a red flag? If he show up with shorts and church shoes, that's a red flag. Shorts and church <laughs> shoes and church socks run for the hills. <laughs> Hello, Velva. Thanks for chiming in. We ask that you guys like and share. Welcome to the community and the campfire conversation. Our conversation or our first topic we're talking about is what are some red flags that you should really just run away from if somebody is doing this? I'm in between jobs. <laughs> is that a red flag? It could be legit. Huh? <laughs> I mean, if it goes on for a while, I think there might be a grace period within that. Tommy, we never, Tommy never had a job. Tommy never had a job, but he always had on nice clothes. Right. <laughs> and he drove the nice clothes. You know what? Did they ever say what he yes, drove? He did. I don't car. know what he drove. Did anybody know? Oh. oh, a red flag, Velva, for dating. What is a red flag for dating? A red flag that says you oh, need to okay. run the other way. Let me clarify that. What are some red flags in dating? May I borrow $10 tomorrow? When he all <laughs> no. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Can you pay this time? <laughs> I'm going to pay this time because I don't want to be embarrassed in this restaurant, but <laughs> we may not need to talk after this. <laughs> I don't know. What are some red flags? <laughs> no job, no nice clothes. Velma is saying no job and no nice clothes. Okay. If somebody is acting, oh. oh, hello. Good evening, Stacy. Um, someone is acting funny, riding in her car. That could be a red flag. Yeah, it could be. Looking around. <laughs> or um, maybe older and still living in his mother's basement. Yeah, that might not be somebody Although that's it could be legit. But well, it, it depends on the circumstances because they could be coming through a rough patch, right? right. Or they could be taking care of their parents or something, right? But yeah, but if you're living, I don't. You'd have to dig if they're it. living in the basement, are they taking care of the parent? I don't or know. should they have a main room? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Basement. <laughs> Somebody I says walking all the when time. They basement, when they said basement, I left the room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Someone says walking all the time. Um <laughs> That's Probably without thing. without workout clothes. I can get with that one. Yeah, walking all the time without workout clothes. Oh, I'm a music producer. That one. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get my rap career up. Right. And you're, you're getting ready to draw Dude, some security. And you're still trying to rap. Get, get, that first off. <laughs> get that first release. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are some red flags? I am trying to share this. Um, and again, for those of you who are coming on, we appreciate it. Thanks for hanging with us and for joining us. Let's see. People are chiming in. That's good. But would not go to work. Okay. Yeah, this one says lying. That's a red flag. Uh-oh. She tells you to meet her at the laundry house for a date. Oh, I don't know if I would tell somebody. Yeah, that's a run. You got to run. That sounds like from experience, Eric. I don't know. You your <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That sounds painful. Woo. 
That sounds crazy. Okay, what is everybody drinking? Somebody wrote lying too. What are some red flags? But I know I keep saying that, but I just have some, I told them that I had some, not tea, I have some hot water and lemon. And so it's warm and I got it in my little cup with my little scriptures on it and all that. But mm. I'm saying if you want to have a some smooth sailing um, in your day, if you're having a little trouble, having everything flow correct, Exactly. Oh yeah, the lemon and the water. I don't. You can drink it when it's cool, but lemon and hot water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does mm-hmm. the job. It does the job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell her parents to come and get him. <laughs> Tell her parents to come and get him when he has a flat. Her parents. Yeah, <laughs> depending too much on the parents. That might be a red flag. Yeah. Big, 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 big time. Right. How's everybody doing tonight? I know one. I, know okay. one. Um, I can't change your tire, but my mother will. Ooh, I'm scared of the mama. That's crazy. Right. One time. Somebody <laughs> told you that? Well, it wasn't a dating situation, but I thought if they did that, what else will they be up to? Is that- right? <laughs> okay, we got another question here. We're going to move on. If y'all think of some other things, that'll just go ahead and put them in the chat. You can only pick two free things in life. What would they be? I mean, that you could, that you would, uh oh, that you would use. Let me, let me rephrase it. You can only pick two things that you would get free for the rest of your life. What would that be? Mm. I see that y'all are making some comments. Hang on one second. Let me type this out. Two. Free things, <laughs> free money and free food. <laughs> Not free money. You can't. I don't. Let me. Okay. Some of the suggestions they gave was like a massage, a house cleaning, pizza, makeup, oh. gas. Um, two free things for the rest. I'm not gonna be practical. I'm gonna say a free check each week. No work required. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a car. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. okay. The okay. <laughs> a Maybach. <laughs> a Maybach. Okay. Not okay. Car. Let me backtrack to the first question we had about um, things that would that would um, that are red flags. Someone put seen with another woman or girl. And yes. be, kick them to the curb, scrub. And it's not your auntie, and it's not your cousin. Right? I know all of them. <laughs> Someone said, my phone broke, so call or text my mama's phone. That's a good one. <laughs> now, this day and age, you can go get your prepaid phone, at least. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a good one. And then, okay, then we're going into the new one. All right, gas and groceries. That's, That's a good. good one. That's a good one. And you also put that money makes you lazy. You think no, so? No. Two free things for the rest of your life. What? Well, I just want to see how that feels. Let me see if I feel lazy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I won't be lazy. I'll have to go and take a vacation to slow down. <laughs> I'll try, right? Oh. Two Let's free see. things. Two free things. things. Two free things. What about um a house cleaner? Somebody oh. coming in to clean the house for free? That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be. Yeah. I think I would do, I didn't think about the house cleaning, but I know one of them I would do for sure is a chef. If I could have a chef, um, somebody to cook all the time. And I'm yeah. learning that having a chef, and I think we had kind of talked about this before, having a chef isn't necessarily for the high and the elite. It might. It's just for right. people who have busy schedules. Right. Right. Or yeah, busy schedules and you don't have time to mm-hmm. actually, you know, do it yourself. And although I do like to cook, I think that some days a chef would be like heaven. Seriously. <laughs> yes, it would be. Especially well, trying to eat that. healthy. Yeah, right. funny you're mentioning that. We just talked about that. That a chef would be something that's. it used to be you think it would be for the super elite. But there'd be some days I like for a chef to just come on in and have your way in the kitchen. I decided Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'll handle the other days. Yeah. 
Well, Fridays, every man for himself. Mondays, right. leftover from Saturday, Sunday. You're running. So. <laughs> Saturday, hey. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Yeah. I won't a chef would, we... She's right. A chef would want to be paid. So hopefully somebody Not else could that. take could take that bill. You're right, girl. A chef would want to be paid. To need to be I paid. can leave a tip. <laughs> I can give him a tip. <laughs> right. A chef would need to be paid. No, they would be. They would have to be. That's their work. Okay. Since we have an, a, our community going on here, there are some things that I wanted to talk about because there are some people who are getting kicked off of reality shows. I want to talk about reality shows real quick. And they need to they need a new place to live. And so we need to vote on whether or not we're going to allow these individuals to come into our community here. So free medical and retirement check. I like that one. You got that right. Yeah. Um, the there's a shake up at the on the Real Housewives franchise. So what about leaving Atlanta Housewives, Portia and Cynthia? They need a new place to live and reside. Should we allow them to come and live in Kim's community? Hmm. Do you want to continue to own Kim's community? <laughs> oh, what? You think they're going to take it over? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. No. Because, okay, Cynthia is boring. I'm just going to say it. She's Cynthia, boring. Yeah. Cynthia is regular like the rest of us. She yeah, would like be. Boring. She would be a good addition because she would have a level head. She would bring her modeling business. So that would help with tax, so say the tax base. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Cynthia be boring. But Portia, I think she would be okay. If we could ever tame her, though. She needs a little taming, you know. Little, See? You're little, trying to bring the wild one the in. Thing. Cynthia is just so on the. She don't know what she's talking about half the time. So I just don't see Cynthia being here. But uh, Portia, yeah, let's bring Portia in. Portia would probably know. think she might think we're boring. She may. Well, she may. She may. But then she may adapt. You never know. I don't know. She said, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying what, to type this what out. What does the guess. community think? How is the community voting? Exactly, community. What do y'all have to say? Any should any of the ladies? You have Facebook. Any clothes wherever I I want to pick. Should any of the ladies from the Real Housewives be able to? Uh, <laughs> no, I put it up down at the bottom of the screen. I'm sorry. I was slow typing the new question. I asked a new question. Should yeah. Cynthia and Portia from the Real Housewives of Atlanta be able to move into Kim's community? And if so, whose street are they going to live on? But I was thinking that <laughs> I was thinking that Cynthia could come and she's all into modeling. So she would start a new business, which would help the community downtown area with the tax base. And so that would be good. Eric, I can't see what you put. Um, you put an emoji, but it didn't come across. So you might have yeah. to. It probably was a middle finger up like, no, they shouldn't come. I don't know. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So we are asking, should they be allowed to come and be a part of the community? Of the community. Only thing is we have to watch Portia because she might try to take your husband. That's the only thing. Ooh, Ooh. Portia? Portia. Well, she doesn't need to come through the gates. No. <laughs> Why would you bring somebody in the community that's going to be a troublemaker? Oh, Eric said thumbs down and Velva said no. Too bougie. So the community is chiming in and saying neither one of them needs to come. Okay. <laughs> At all. Okay. What about, um, I watch sometimes the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What about Erica Jane? She and Tom are getting a divorce. Somebody wrote, no, 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 no. No. Y'all don't like Erica Jane? She is crazy. You know what? I actually love her um, persona. I do too. The sharp dresser. She always looks good. But then something kind of went wrong. Yes. And sometimes based on what the ladies are saying, you're not sure if her stories are correct or 
you know, if you're, if some of the detail is missing and I do understand they're in a lawsuit and that's what I really thought about. She may not be talking honestly because of that. Her husband is in a lawsuit. I just want to see. I agree. But I think the other, well, I was going to say she doesn't want people to know her business, but you're right. Um, I yeah. think it is because of the lawsuit. Yeah. I think she changed and got a little strange because before she was always just kind of out there and kind of put her right. own business out there. Right. Yeah. But I love her persona. She Me is too. the sharpest dresser. And yeah, I love her clothes. Love it. Love all her style. But her style. She's yeah. just a little. I uh, agree. She's out there a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, which one fights all the time? Start stuff. Um, which one starts all, all the time? Oh. <laughs> There's always somebody that starts stuff. It's like they take turns to me. Yeah, right. exactly. I wonder if they get a bigger paycheck for starting stuff. They do. It's the more drama you cause, do. the more money you make. And also, really? for people that don't know the behind the scenes, I'm just going to let it out. So, <laughs> a lot of times when they go on those reality shows, their pitch to them for them to make more money is for them to get the best and biggest house, even if they have to rent it or get it from somebody else and stage it. They really? Also, yes. They also... Um, they try to make a storyline for themselves. So some of the stories that you hear about them are not really true. And behind the scenes, they actually really are friends and do get along. But a lot of the stories that they do tell are not true. They do it for a storyline. And so <laughs> a lot of stuff you see, whether it's clothing sometimes in their purses and things like that, are running as well. So mm. it's a whole persona that they put on. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I figured I knew I kind of knew that about the houses or figured that about the houses, but I didn't realize that mm -hmm. the real deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Some of them do have real money, like Candy. She has real money. Right. That chick has real money. Phaedra, she has money. You know, yeah. um, Mini Leaks, she started out. And now she has money. So she started she on the bottom. Now, look, exactly. now she's on the top. However the song goes. <laughs> so, yeah. So a lot of them are just now coming into some of their money. But when they started out on those shows, a lot of them didn't. And you can tell the difference. The Beverly Hill wives, a lot of them had rich husbands. So they have the look. Yeah. They have yeah. real yeah. money. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. It's um, um, Velva is saying we need peaceful neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, girl, on that one thousand percent. I do not need my property values going down. <laughs> well, I like Phaedra. I like her. She's. I, I have like to her. Peek, peek out the blind. Who is that this time? Uh huh. Be the nosy neighbor. <laughs> I like Phaedra. The ones who I. I feel like this in real life too. The ones who try to, who are troublemakers are the ones who have the least amount to lose. Yes. Like if you think about it, Candy's got this whole empire stuff that she's got going on. Phaedra attorney, she's got stuff that she's yes. got going on, even though y'all trying to say that she fake attorney or whatever. But anyway, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> cameras. Oh, we everybody needs to put cameras. I don't know what you mean by that. Cameras. We're going to go to another universal topic, but yeah, that's good. And for those of you who are just coming in, if you want to chime in, some of the things that we have been talking about, what are some red flags in dating? If you want to put that in the comments, we would love to uh, chime in and share uh, your comments. Thank you guys for coming in. We want you to like and share. Welcome to Kim's community. The numbers keep going up and we appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Um, like, share and subscribe, depending on what platform you're watching on. And this little community here, we're having a fireside chat. So some of y'all scoot over so other folks can get in because we want everybody to be able to get in and be warmed by the fire. Some of the topics we've already talked about, but you are welcome to chime in on. What are some red flags in dating? You can, I mean, be as funny and as outrageous as you want to because we are here to laugh and have a good time. The other one is name two free things that you can get for the rest of your life that you would like to get. And we were also talking about some of the housewives franchises. And we were talking about Cynthia and Portia. They're not going back to the Atlanta housewives. And we were voting on whether or not they should be allowed to move into Kim's community. Well, some folks are like, no, they should not because we need peaceful neighbors. So, uh, and, and, and Bill was saying, hey, 
<laughs> Say it again. Velma was saying we do not need cameras in our Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so listen, we've got some folks who are going to take charge. Um, Eric says he's going to be the gate guard. He's going to be at the guard at the gate. We love it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> we need that. <laughs> we need you to pat them down. Go ahead. Oh, I thought you were saying something. We need you to pat them down. Make sure their cars aren't um, coming in to cause a disturbance. They need to turn their music down. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, Josh is waiting. Coming out of the car. There you go. <laughs> Josh is weighing in. He says that she doesn't go to church, but only on Easter. Red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> right? Exactly. Uh, yeah, you've said that. We do not need cameras. Let's see who else. Let me see. If you live in there. Okay, David is chiming in on the first one. If they live with their in their parents' base with, basement, no dang job. Always saying, "Pick their butt up." Yeah, nah, boo boo. You ain't getting in my. You ain't getting in my cookies, David. I love you. <laughs> and that sums it up. <laughs> across the talk that I was trying to make. Thank you, David. <laughs> oh my goodness, you said it all. Yes, we are yes. loving it. <laughs> that is too funny. It is a C. I will be the head of the NOA neighborhood. Okay, Velva is going to be the head of the neighborhood right, association. Velma. Yes. Velma. <laughs> we love, and of course, you got to make sure people pay their dues because but the people who want the most are the ones who are not up to date on their dues. So make sure you keep up with people paying their dues. <laughs> right. Right. That <laughs> not is them too high. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Not too high. <laughs> right. Listen, remember we were talking about nosy neighbors. We need some Karens, right? Yeah. <laughs> In the community. <laughs> That's, That's good a good one. one. Good. The Karens in here might. Run, run away by the time we get on. Yes. <laughs> Straight. Okay. <laughs> Here's one. I'll be the top flight security officer. Okay. You and um, who was that? Dave. No. Eric. Eric. You and Eric because he's the gate they security. So y'all going to have to work together. Yeah. We'll have, we can have two gates. <laughs> oh, can work there 24 hours so they can take turns. Right. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep Kim's community safe and keep all the troublemakers out big time. That's awesome. I love it. Mm -hmm. And we heard some behind the scenes on what's really happening on the Real Housewives about how they don't really own their clothes, their purses, their houses. That stuff is rented. They get paid more if they fight more. Just, I mean, whew, stuff I didn't, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's interesting, though, that every one of them has built a new home, or they say they have built a new home. And that's unusual to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that they were making good money, though, on the show. I mean, after like a couple of seasons you've been on, you know, Hopefully right. you managed your money well. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Delma's got a good one. She said we need to build a church. Okay, we're gonna start no. passing the offering tray because you know you gotta have a building fund if you're gonna build a church. <laughs> that never ends, <laughs> right? <gasps> David. He said that he was an extra on Real Housewives episode three years ago. And yeah, most wow. of it is fake and staged. Oh my goodness. You know, we need to bring David on. So yes, can David, know. can you come on and talk to us? Yes. We want to know. Inquiring yes. minds want to know, David. I'm going to inbox you this link. Wait a minute. Let me try to find it. Mm. Ooh. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> this, wow. And when, I want to know which franchise you were in. <clears throat> and um, Love and Hip Hop, they do it too. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. I think right now, last thing I just saw was that uh, if you watch. David, you need to stop. Black Ink. What did he say? He's talking about. Wait a minute. I'm going to show oh. you 
You're talking about, oh, I'm so shy. I'm just so shy. Well, that you, is such I'm a big sure lie. Is not you can shy. put him on and not show his face. You can do it incognito. David is not shy. <laughs> I didn't think that he was, but we just want the nitty gritty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I'm going to try to find you. Here we go. Oh, my God. I sent you the link in Messenger, David. So click on that. I call it no love. What did you say? I call it no love and flip flop. <laughs> no love. Absolutely. And That's a no hot love. mess. Oh, I call it no love and flip flops. <laughs> they are okay. like all over the place. I don't need dirt. They is it? Is that the same? No, that's something else. The one where they do the marriage boot camp. All that is like, is that fake too? You know what? Don't they usually have like a psychiatrist on there or a they psychologist? Have, uh, you probably uh, need judge, one. Man. Yeah. No, I think they really try to help them. If oh. it's, if it's official ran, if they're just going on vacation, then it's a free for all. But if they have a real boot camp. Many times they'll have a, 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 what's his name? The doctor that used, it was a male doctor. He used to do those when they first started. And then he kind of eased out of it. Because I think it was a right. little too. It started getting ratchet. Yeah. It was too it. much for him. But the judge, the short lady judge, uh, is, her, is her name Lynn? Oh. I don't know. She's on there. She's usually on the marriage boot camp. And they really, those people really do have problems. Those, those okay. problems are real. Okay. Yeah, and she's serious. Bad. She's a yes. She doesn't play. She doesn't. They need to bring back Ayana Van Zant. She wasn't they playing with them. <laughs> you what? know they canceled her. And then after they they? Got, yeah, um, the last person that went on there was what's the the girl from uh, the Braxtons? Yeah, the, no, the Brat sister. What's her name? The Braxton sister. Um, the one who all that. No, Kmart. no, no. Tracy? The brat, the rapper, the brat. Oh, oh the brat. Lisa okay. Ray. After Lisa Ray was on there, and somebody else went on there that was like a reality star, and she was trying to coach them back to life, but she was like bringing up the real truth out. You know, she got mad at her and was like, just walked, like basically just went off. Wow. And so when that happened, she started bashing Ayala on the social media, and then. Ayana was like, you know what? I'm done. Oh, so okay. because like, of I'm that, just, I'm stopping. She probably was done anyway. Yeah, I think yeah. that was her last draw. I think the one she did with Lisa Ray was really good. It and was. Lisa it really was. got helped from that. I think she had some aha moments, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I think she did a good job with that one, but I don't know about the next one you're talking about. Yeah, she she did good with all of them to me, but. Just you facing your cold truth is something that some people just can't handle. It's hard, right. though. It's hard to um, take ownership of what you may have contributed to the situation. Because mm -hmm. you always see, of course, from your perspective as to why you did it and what you were thinking and all of that. And right. so you are part of the problem. Right. It's hard to take ownership. It really is. Right. Yeah. Um, Eric talked about uh yeah being married to the prince or what was he like the embassy person over the island or what was he of turks and caicos yeah yeah, yeah. it's not embassy yeah, i can't think of what he was but you're right he's like the uh, ambassador ambassador that's what it is that, wasn't he? i thought he was like the own like the the governor or whatever the title yeah was. whatever the the highest person the highest. is well for us to be a president i don't right. know right Okay, <laughs> he was something. <laughs> yeah, he was something too. <laughs> oh, I was about to change the subject, but I see David trying to chop, chop it or coming on in. Come it's on taking him a David. minute, but he's coming. David he talked to us. We were talking about the Real Housewives know. franchise. He says that he was know. used to be a episode, um, yeah. an extra. I'm, I have to get something. I'll be right back. Maybe I uh -oh. can't see right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take you out. Okay, go ahead. David, I don't know a saying that I can bring you on, but let me see. Oh, I see him coming in. It's twirling. 
I know it's true. It's I'm, I'll wait for it to come in. But anyway, Dave, we were talking about the Real Housewives and we were getting some of the back dirt about and Velva, we still gonna build that church up there. Everybody's kind of got there. So we got security, <laughs> security officers. Nobody wants any of the housewives to live on their streets. Um, but David was saying that he used to be an extra on Real Housewives um, episode about three years ago. And he was like, most of it is fake and staged. And I didn't, I mean, I knew that some of it probably was like the houses and, you know, but I didn't know all of that. I don't know what's happening, David. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Velvet. Velvet done put in her cash app. Somebody want to send her some... Oh, <laughs> for the building fund. <laughs> if y'all want to help with the building fund, um, Velva to build the church, Velva has put in her cash app. So... <laughs> Wait a minute, Bill, but we got to have a cash app that not only you have access to, <laughs> if that's for the building oh. fund, but oh my goodness, go this because I'm waiting on David. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, okay. okay. She's trying to, she's going to sip Come her on, tea David. while David is talking. Come on, David. Okay. Bring us All right. Tea, well, we're waiting David. for him to come in. Eric said he's going to be the gate guard and the head deacon. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to, uh, let me, I'm going to make a comment. Okay. Okay. Can I make a comment? Uh-huh. If you put it in the comment, Velva says she likes your cup, cute cup. It's saying that I can add you, David, but it just, I'm going to just leave it up. So if you come up, be decent when you come up. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, I was able Maybe to a add. Slow ad. David. <laughs> sip, we ready to sip the tea from the Real Housewives. Let me see. Okay. It's not it's not letting him in. For some reason it just it's not letting him in. Oh no. Mm. You want me to go out so he can come in? Maybe. I Try can't. it. Oh. Okay. I can go out for you and come. She's gone. She's gone. Well, I did that. Try that. Wonder can I add anybody? Let me see if that works. We're trying to get David in. Is maybe it's because maybe we ain't supposed to be gossiping. Since we're talking about raising money for the church. <laughs> I don't know. It's still not letting him in. Dang. That is so strange. That is strange. I'm not really sure what happened. I think. Mm. Mm, that's right. Oh, there's a chat. I'm not sure what's going on, David. Not sure at all. Sorry. Oh, you're right, though. I love it. We are not gossiping. We are having conversations. And I love that. Yes, ma'am. We are having campfire conversations. Indeed. <laughs> <That was funny. laughs> Katrina, I love it. She said, I will I'll do the announcements <laughs> for the community. <laughs> yes. We need somebody to do the announcements. <laughs> Hey, make sure you have them by in by Tuesday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good one. It still has you here, David. If you pop up, I'll bring you up, but I'm not really sure why it's toggling. Katrina, we love it. And they were saying we're going to have the announcements to you by Tuesday for the community. So anybody that needs, and you and Velva probably will talk a lot since she's over the Homeowners Association. Right. Okay. Not a problem. 
Oh, maybe that's what she was doing the cash app for homeowners association and the building. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. We accused you falsely. No, we had conversations falsely about you. Right. <laughs> that's what she was doing. You're right, Velma. Put your cash app back up. <laughs> what did he say? Here I go, putting my hat on and cocoa butter lip gloss for, <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> David, <laughs> you and I are going to have to work on that so you can come on next time. Yes. Seriously. Yes. That is funny. <laughs> that when is we funny. Bring someone on? I, don't, I don't know why it wouldn't come on. I don't know either. All right. We're going to go to our next topic. Um, we're going we're gonna to go a little longer. I usually try to keep y'all, get y'all in and out. <laughs> but since we started so late because my computer started um what did i say updating on its own for some reason so those of you who are on we ask you to like and share like and share um like and share <laughs> david velva velva was velva is telling you to come on to the church since you don't put your lip stop lip stick on lip chapstick on <laughs> you need some don't come in the pickle soup do not come in the pickle soup. <laughs> I got a chance to follow you, David. <laughs> right? He's talking about, yeah, I need some live Photoshopping. <laughs> you are a mess. Glad you are here, though. So glad you are here. All right, guys, I ask that you like and share, like and share. The other thing that I wanted us to talk about is this show that is on Netflix. And I'm going to do a video. Um, but let me find it. Uh, Squid, Squid Games on Netflix. I don't know if everybody's seen it. If you haven't seen it, we won't give away a whole bunch of anything. But um, I saw it. did you see it? I know what yes. you did. <laughs> I got to share this with Velvet. She, he said he was going to be there in a pickle suit. He'll be at church. Don't you worry. In his pickle suit. That's a mess. <laughs> A whole mess. <laughs> okay, Squid Games. Weigh in. Anybody seen it? What are your What are your thoughts, Katrina? You're looking concerned. Mm. I watched it and I was surprised. <laughs> like not in a good way. No, I mean, it's the ending for me. Let me just put. Okay, it that. it's the ending for me. Yeah, it, it it was interesting. I wasn't expecting for it to be what it was. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah. I was not expecting what it was. We're talking in code, just, just in case some of y'all haven't seen it yet, but Squid right. Games and Netflix. Right. We're not going to um, do a spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, long. we're not going to. It's long. It's long. <laughs> it's <just> long. <laughs> okay. So David watched all of the episodes and he even got many messages out of it. Okay. Look at you being yeah. all philosophical and stuff. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. actually was some good messages out of it. It surely was. It was. And Velva has not seen it. So we're not going to spoil it in case you watch it, <clears throat> in case you watch it. But one thing I am going to do is I'm going to do a video and post it on this in this community. I'm going to make some of those little cookies the sugar cookies that they had to use, the shapes out of, and then I'll post it and I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all see the real deal of trying to get the shapes out of the sugar cookie. We were going to do that for Christmas. Oh, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, but you can do it. We'll just I'm do just it doing it as a joke. I mean, we can still do it for Christmas. We can still, we'll huh? still do it. It'll just be something extra we can do. No, you can do that. It's October right now. <laughs> it's not gonna spoil it for Christmas. <laughs> I'm trying to answer your chat. What is it, Velva? You need to watch. Okay, it was funny. I was trying to add to your chat, and I went to the help system and put the chat in. He says, "Hi, Brenda. This is Louie. How can I help?" <laughs> I went to the help desk. I thought it was your chat. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Louie. Wrong Oops. chat. <laughs> oh, my said, goodness. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, and I will put the video up here so y'all can see it, and I want y'all to chime in. Yes. Yes. Do it. But, yeah, yeah, we can still do it. 
Yes, I want to see how dad, how my dad. Anoint uh, yourself with oil before you start watching it. <laughs> Do what did you say? I said, anoint yourself with oil before you start oh, watching it. Oh no! <laughs> I think it's intense. It is intense. It was. It was unexpected. And uh, somebody said they were making a Squid Games too. Have yes. y'all heard that? Yes. No. Because it took, I think this, it took this one so long for it to even get filmed in here that when they, everybody watched it and they got such good reviews about it, that's when they said they would go ahead and start making this, the second one. Okay. You know what, though? The other thing was that the Korean, this is based on the Korean so society, correct? They did not feel that it was as intriguing or not really funny or as amusing as others thought they thought it left them in a negative light that it showed parts of their culture that were true and they oh. yeah they felt it was kind of uh left them with a, a um was it a bad look in public because they felt that some of it was absolutely true like you know the debt part they said that oh well i forgot well anyway the debt part you remember it when you watch it but I, that's all i'll say yeah but I felt that like, some of it was true and it left them in a negative light that's it and you know they like to save face yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah honorable or thought that this was a great thing to watch david is saying that he has a producer friend that is making a version of it Ooh. David, David can, come on. David, I mean, can I be your friend? Where are you, are you located? I don't have time. <laughs> I can't have dump me and Katrina and get David on. Okay, right <laughs> off <of> my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna have David on. We're gonna get him on here. We'll he and I will work behind the scenes to make sure he can get on wow. next time. He's got you are great. just um, full of He's amazing antidotes, David. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to sip our tea. <laughs> I will carry your pickle soup for you and make sure it gets to the dry cleaner. <laughs> oh, all saucer. right. I want you to see my saucer that goes with my cup. I'm That's ready nice. for you, Dave. Okay. <laughs> I don't have mine today. That's okay. I that is one. okay. You showed me up last week. That's why I made sure I had one. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here at 9.15, but this is the last one question I wanted to ask, and everybody chime in. Top seven foods that can prevent bad breath. Oh, God. <laughs> I want to hear this. Prevent. Top seven foods that can prevent bad breath. Don't, aren't onions good for preventing bad breath? No. Uh-oh, somebody is onion. asking a question. But They're getting you back from last yes, week. What is in that cup, Miss Brenda? Oh. I know one that will do it. Can't even listen. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ask that question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the question at the bottom. Somebody's asking you, "What is in that cup?" <laughs> oh, I cannot tell a lie, <laughs> so I won't tell you at all. <laughs> Sipping that tea. Oh, right. Okay, go back to what you were saying. <laughs> uh, oh, I know one that works. Uh, cloves. I worked with a gentleman who would come to work after having partied too much the night before. And he would chew on actual, the live little cloves that you put in like ham and different meats. You push them down. He would take them and chew them in his mouth. And cloves, like the little black Garlic cloves? The little black, well, the cloves that had a little spike on the end, not the little round ones. But yeah. they have, like, you can stick them like in food if you're making. Usually, people put them in ham. Uh, you, you have a little stick stem. That. That's the word. And okay. you put it in the ham. But he would chew those. But they are very strong. Very wow. Strong. <laughs> I said onions, and everybody chimed in on that. Well, y'all give a a suggestion. Onions? Heck no. They they make bad. What is? Oh, Velva was bad saying breath. no. She said onions gives bad breath. Okay. Right. Um, um, lemons. Lemons should give you. Oh, yeah. Lemons. Mint leaves. Mint. There, mint there you leaves. go, David. Does mint. it? Yeah. Just chew a little piece. Yeah. Huh. 
And you said lemons? I said you think? Lemons. They go good in my garbage disposal. You know, it makes it smell really good. I know. <laughs> Got to work. Listen, in the lemon and water. I'm telling you, it'll make you flush. It'll make it like Drano. It'll make you flush smooth. You got to drink it. Now that's okay. a different talk. Oh yeah. We're talking about this end. Okay. <laughs> the top end. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> marinating his mouth with clothes. I know that's right, Eric. That is the craziest. Marinating the mouth. Marinating. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. No, he was saying with the clothes. He said he made, the guy was marinating his mouth with the clothes. And I agreed with him. He absolutely was. <laughs> okay. What is this? Somebody is saying mint. And gum. I don't know what else. Cinnamon is really good, David is saying. Like a cinnamon oh, stick. Okay. Oh. I guess you wouldn't oh, put cinnamon yeah. powder on a spoon. <laughs> if you want to live to see tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth would sure together. <laughs> right? Okay. Hmm. Cinnamon. Listerine. That's what I'm saying. What about just brushing your teeth, right? <laughs> I don't know what else. What are the foods that can prevent bad breath? Never thought about that. Me either. Oh. All right, y'all. Go I ahead. No, I had to do a little Google, do a little research on Google. You want the list? And if it's on the internet, it's got to be true. Okay, go ahead. Brenda's Google. It's got to be true. Um, sugarless gum. Mm. Uh, probiotic, probiotic yogurt for bad uh, breath. Raw veggies like apples and pears and carrots and celery. It helps produce saliva, which cleanses out the odor out of your mouth. I did not know that. Did, did know not that. know that. Daniel, Daniel has a good one. You're right too. Uh oh, I didn't see it. Okay, sorry. Let me see. Uh, what's the question? Oh, the question is uh, the top seven no, foods that can prevent bad breath. And who is this saying? Kim needs to come to pole meal. I don't know where that is. Pole meal. It sounds bad, David. What do you say? I know it sounds bad, David. Maybe I don't need to come there. <laughs> <laughs> what are scrapers, Daniel? Tom scrapers. Oh, scrapers. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's a good one yeah that is a good one okay. Clorox David it's that green tea Clorox all right president you know who's killing people with Clorox <laughs> <laughs> oh this is a good one a mask <laughs> Man. that'll help Man. cleanse your bad breath I know some people were like, when they had to wear a mask, they were like, woo, okay, I got it now. <laughs> I feel like they were inching away from me. <laughs> so the mask might have helped folks brush their teeth a little more. Or a Tic Tac, that'll help. Get you a Tic Tac. <laughs> All right, y'all. We thank y'all for chiming in. Yeah. Thank y'all for being with us and making us laugh. Before we leave, we want to be encouraged. The floor is open for you. Is she frozen? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the floor is open. The floor is open. But you were frozen. But am I frozen? We can hear you. Go ahead and talk. I guess it'll be like the Japanese movies where the mouth is moving, but the body isn't. But I'm frozen. Okay. Wow. Okay. You're in good time. Uh, You're in real time. To, as a way for us to leave. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're good. Oh, okay. Just the way as a way for us to leave tonight on a high note, I want us to remember that there is always a place of encouragement. And and I like that. Uh, the, the flag you have on that says be encouraged because this is absolutely what my goal is to encourage each and every one and it's just a small little um, it says a proverb 
that was widely circulated, but it re, it's anonymous, so I can't give the author actual credit. <laughs> and so I'm laughing at these comments. Eric said, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I gotta put this funny. up. Eric, you are a mess talking about that. T got her moving in slow motion. <laughs> this is the best time, and I hope you guys will tell others about it because this is a good laugh. laugh. And you know, they said it's laughter, it's like medicine to the bone. So, whatever hurts you or ails you, um, then uh, laughter will help remedy that. But I just want to leave you with this thought that everyone in the eyes of God are important. And this little proverb that is widely circulated, but again, by anonymous origin, and I just want to read it, and I think it will explain itself, and that's how we're going to end. For And the word want, W-A-N-T, I'm actually going to use the, I might interchange it because I want clarity to be there. For want or need of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want or need of the shoe, the horse was lost. For want of the horse, the rider was lost. For want of the rider, the battle was lost. For want of the battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a small nail. I'm saying that to you. A nail caused the kingdom to be lost. And I'm saying this to you, that each one of us brings something important into the kingdom. Each one of us is important to the outcomes of this world. And so we have to do our part. Never think you're too small. Never think you're too insignificant. Never think you're not good enough. Never think that your idea doesn't count. Never think that when I come to the table, nobody listens. Don't allow that negative self-talk to keep you from being who you are in God because he needs each and every one of us. So for the want of the nail, the shoe was lost. The want or need of a nail, the shoe was lost. From want or need of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want or need of the horse, the rider was lost. For want or need of the rider, the battle was lost. For want or need of the of the kingdom, the, the kingdom was lost. For the battle, the kingdom was lost. So each and every one of us, although we, although we may think of ourselves as insignificant as a nail, and that's only a small part of the horse and his rider is that nail holding that shoe on. That's how you are in this world. For want of you, our world will be lost. God bless you. And we need each and every one of you. Amen. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. No big eyes, no little use. That's a good point, uh, Daniel. And you're absolutely right, Velva. Yes. Where she said all are needed. Everybody is needed, especially in this new community. Now, y'all done signed up for some positions, so don't forget. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for chiming in and for being a part of the conversation tonight. It was a lot of fun. And we will see you next Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Enjoy. I'm just going to end it. End broadcast.